So if you're watching this video, you've probably got one of these 30 gallon gas cans. This one's an Arxin. I bought it on Amazon. And you know, nice caddy. The wheels are a little um, <clears throat> wonky, but it does the job. But <clears throat> my main complaint with it is that when you pump it, it just drips gas out of this area right here. Um, and I figured out how to fix it. And I wanted to share that with you guys because I, it was driving me crazy because I mean, the whole point of this was to, you know, have a nice clean, you know, keep the gas stored and, you know, without the gas cans and making a mess and filling them up. But what was the point? This thing was like spewing gas all over the place. The problem is right in here, there's a, like you can see where this <clears throat> uh, bevel is, there's supposed to be a an o-ring and when i took this thing apart it wasn't in there so i'm gonna take us off and show you how to fix it um just with you know shop parts also um the other thing about this i discovered is that because my first instinct was oh well maybe the, the pump is crap so i could just replace it but these are these are metric threads i'm pretty sure so nothing seems to want to fit that so you're kind of screwed anyway i mean i suppose you could get some kind of an adapter but let's get to the fixing part so first thing, just take this hose off. Okay. Let's get that out of the way and then we'll take our ground clamp and we're just gonna hold on to it. <clears throat> and um, this, this thing just unthreads off of it. That hurt. <laughs> ground clamp caught my hand. So once you get this, once you get the hose off, this thing just unscrews from the, from the gas caddy. There's no, you know, pipe or pickup tube that's gonna come up with this thing. It's part, that's part of the gas can. All right, let's get it up on the bench. So it's got impact, these are 10 millimeter. Take the handle off first. Now, when you take this apart, there's no need to take the pump apart. You'll see in a second. Just lift the, uh, take the handle off, keep it flat, and then just lift this cover off. The first time I took this apart, I pulled all this out. You don't have to take that, but that's what it looks like. And as it goes around it, you know, it's uh, sort of like a, like a cam. And I guess it creates vacuum as it goes, like it... You know, it sucks up fuel in this chamber and then it pushes it out on that chamber. So it's like a pulse. But anyway, <clears throat> the problem is, is that it's missing this guy. And if you look in the cap, I don't know if you can see this here. There's actually like an indentation where it's supposed to go. And when I first took it apart, see, there you go. When I first took this apart, there wasn't anything in it. <clears throat> so, you know, I just got me one of these grommet kits. And it's, you know, full of assorted things. And you just got to find the right one. I, I, I did, the first time I did it, I went with this guy, I think. And they, they kind of look the same, but they're, the, the one on my right hand here is thicker. And that's the one that worked. Because I put the thinner one in there and I put it all together and didn't do anything, so... <clears throat> so put this down here and I kind of I don't push it all the way down I just get it just enough that it's over the top there yeah and I'll put this thing back on and that's it and Then as I push down, it kind of seats itself with the gasket. <clears throat> and we bolt it back up. Put our ground strap back on. It's a good opportunity to fix this. I had to put a new connector on it. You don't have to overdo it with this.
right, now we go and put it back on. And we're gonna bring some Teflon tape with us. I'm just gonna put it on the threads before I put this thing back on. Trying to get some of this old Teflon off of here. Probably should have brought a wire brush or something. That's all right. There we go. And this one came, this is dented. Doesn't seem to affect anything, but. <clears throat> Mine, like a lot of people's, they were complaining about it. It came all damaged. I think my one of my wheels is messed up. And uh, that was messed up. Let's thread this thing back on. Okay. And then, um, let's hook up our, uh, hook up our hose. Now, I'm fully anticipating it not working uh, again because I just had it working and then I took it apart to show you guys and I'm probably sure it's not going to work now. But let's find out. Here's our thirsty patron. Not a drop. It used to just come streaming out of here. I'd have to like, I guess I should probably put the ground strap on. Huh? Yeah, I used to have to like, you know, hold it like this to keep the gas from going all over the place. Okay, well, I hope that helps somebody because I know I was struggling with it. I was about ready to throw this thing out. All right, thanks for checking it out, guys.